Okay, let me, let me, let me. I lived at the airport for seven months and two months in detention jail in Malaysia. Good evening. Hello again. Good morning. Sabah al khair. It was not easy. I thought it's a good thing to have some two or three hours to sleep. But uh, with time, I become more proud of the things I was doing. I was telling my story and my people's story. And the world finally was hearing me. There's one movie for Tom Hanks. It's called The Terminal. I'm very much living it. People ask me how I did it at the airport. I think it's because of two reasons mainly. Hope, I never gave up hope. And I was smiling. You have a very good night and nice dreams. People saw what I showed them, but it was not the whole thing. They are not allowing me to, to, to get my flight. You are not accepting me to board. I had a very uh, bad days. I watched my brother's wedding via Skype while I was sitting on a chair at the airport. But uh, I had strangers from all around the world to keep me going. I felt that if I give up, I will be disappointing my people because I'm telling you that story. The whole world knows about the Syrian tragedy now. And they know a big deal about the war. But do they know anything about Syria before the war? Do they know who Syrians are? Despite the fact that 5.6 million now are living in refugee camps. Since the Syrian war, there's another type of racism. It's a geographical one. And this is what it means to be a Syrian. No one accepting us, no one allowing us to enter. We have been punished and subjected to racism as Syrians because we are Syrians and because we born in the wrong side of the world. That's our only crime. Just three or four days ago, I received my advanced copy of my book. I, I have a message here uh, to close the gap between the two parts of the world, the East and the West, uh, to humanize us. The same dreams I had as a Syrian teenager, uh, Canadian teenager have it. I always wanted to travel the world. I always wanted to go for an adventure, uh, to have a girlfriend, uh, to live the life. It's the same dreams we always had. And I think uh, people should see that and should read about it. If it changed one mind, uh, it will be enough if it uh, bring more uh, knowledge to the Syrian crisis, uh, to our lives as Syrians, uh, it will be the best. I just want to tell people uh, what does it mean to be Syrian.